motherfuckers, this is motherfucking Foreskin Radio. I am the Dr. Lady Lick a lot of puss up in this bitch. And today we got a very special guest, the lovely, sexy, Miss Fluffy Star. Give it up. Hey. Thanks hey, for man. Thanks for coming out and uh, doing this interview with us. Uh, you're oh. playing tonight at the Buffalo Club. Absolutely. Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, this is Thomas, my drummer. Hello, friends. Also known as Best Boy. Best boy. As of today, as Best of Boy. Today. <laughs> cool, cool. Uh, mm. Like, your, your parents didn't name you Fluffy, I don't know. What? You insulted my parents? What if they did? did they? Oh, did they? they? You know. They were, so nice. were they? Cool. You were born in Vancouver? I was born in the front. Oh, really? Pink one. Yeah. I'm Pink just players. visiting. I'm staying here for another you know, thousand years or so. so. Oh. By the way, we're here. So we're here. Yeah. Sorry, the question is, uh, like, what's the deal with the paint? Like, how do you make it work with the whole pop industrial thing? Oh, pink question, too. I don't know. I've always liked it because being a female, I think it's the ultimate power color because um, as soon as you're born, the first thing that rock you is pink. I think it's very powerful. I like the way it looks. It's like a... It's kind of non-existent in industrial. Really black yeah. Black on black on black on black, and you know that's done to death. So I thought I'm just gonna be myself. And, uh, you're gonna have some little pink um, pinstripes. So um, being a, a, a female industrial rock star, do you do you intimidate men? Do you find that? Do you find that uh, men in the audience are maybe like, wow, this chick is, wow, she's amazing? I'm not sure if they're intimidated or not, but I think when they find out that I do things like produce and engineer, program and all those things, they're always like, what? Shock is that women can't do that, so, you know, it makes me have the girl power thing happen, I have pink power, so, uh... Once they get to know you too. Yeah. <laughs> Who do you find intimidating? Why do I find intimidating? my mom. Mother? Yeah, she's still, I'm always scared, like, on MySpace or wherever on my website, if I'm wearing something, there's no, she's going to see it, I'm going to be, you know, re wearing and you know, question me and stuff. Whose so. mother isn't intimidating? No, she is, she's very intimidating, so in her own way. Is she kind of like, um, is she very traditional, or is she, is she, 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 she said she was a hippie, so, so, <laughs> she, does she really embrace this, you know, She's pink, used to it now. She's used to it now. They wanted me to be the um, plain girl with the no makeup, the two long braids, and, uh, you know, working in the office, chained to the desk, and well, they, that's what they wanted for me, and that's, that's not for me, so I think they're starting to accept that I want to be in music and do art and makeup and all those kind of things. They're starting to embrace it, starting to accept it. I love it, Do they have any foreign languages in uh, Planet Your Food? Oh, there's very many. Oh, yeah. Men speak their own, women speak our own. It's the hierarchy, you know, alpha female language. <laughs> Can you give us an example? <laughs> <laughs> He's learned it too. See? So I'm at like a kindergarten level. Yes. You have to learn that in order to be in the band. You have to speak. Yes. Yeah, it helps out. So, you know, it helps the things go along with speed. He's doing okay. Yeah, getting there. He's gonna have pop quiz, you know, in three days. So, and there's the rest of my band right here. That's there's the Jim Bot, and this is Polly. Hey guys, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> uh, we're from the internet. Oh, yeah, yeah. From the internet. You told me about your name. So, quick, quick question about novel writing. It says you're in your uh, MySpace page that you're a novelist. Are you going to leave the band and start a career? Later. Good luck. Like, uh, like you, do you have like a uh, has ambitions to be like a like a Harry Potter type novelist or something? That would be you know? awesome. That would be awesome. But no, music is my first love. It's something I just do on the side, and I haven't even I haven't even tried to get them published or anything. I just do it for myself to relax, like rather than playing video games and watching TV. That's just what I do. So, so your uh, leisurely activities are creative activities. Yeah, exactly. That's awesome. What I like to do. How long have you been doing music? I think it's been about six years or so. Oh, yeah. I actually tried to. I started off as a solo artist. Mm -hmm. And back then, nobody wanted to touch me with a 10 foot pole because they thought I was crazy and a girl <laughs> doing all this. So that's why I had to teach myself how to produce an engineer and do all those kind of things because nobody had to help me, you know? And I was so impatient, so I just taught myself. And then all these guys came as victims. <laughs> now they're part of my world, so they can't well, get away. They can't escape me. They've 
been the shit. Yeah. Wow. So your biggest competition is like, you know, Timbaland and Fred Besner, and you're like, fuck all those niggas. <laughs> I'm Flippy Star, bitch. <laughs> I kill all y'all motherfuckers. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Take the big print. Ah. Exactly. Why not? Time up in big place. Yeah. There you go. Do you feel like do you feel like you have the potential to um, to be like the next breakout kind of female artist? Because there's not a lot of powerful females in the music industry that you know write their own stuff and produce. You know, can, can you, do you do you see yourself rising to that level? Absolutely. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I hope so. I enjoy it just so much, like more than anything, music. So that'd be awesome. Like, do you feel like uh, you're positioning yourself as like a role model for, for young women? Well, I don't try to be, but if that's the case, then that's cool too, you know? I take care of myself, and uh, I don't really indulge in destructive behavior. It's been there, done that. I'm beyond that now, so, you know? I like creating, writing music, writing no those novels, and... Yeah, that's powerful that's in and of itself. Yeah. Uh, if you can get something good out of that, that's cool. Yeah. Instead of just, you know, kids these days, you know, they get tagged as being those, you know, the MySpace generation, the, yeah. the YouTube generation, all they do is vegetate in front of the computer. <laughs> um, but, it, you know, and if they see someone like Chuck, then they feel inspired to create themselves. And that's what uh, MySpace and YouTube kind of provide. I think it's a new kind of time right now, like, it's more of a cerebral kind of era that we're at, because people are into computers and technology, and they're having to use their brains now, more than ever before, I so I think it's a good time that we're going into. Like uh, the future is finally starting to happen. Yeah. What? Like <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> so in this future, uh, do you think uh, do you see a glam revival happening right now? Or? A glam revival? Yeah. Like who's the next city starter? I would love that. I would love to be the next city oh, yeah, starter. Oh, that would be a lucky <laughs> starter. So. Yeah. So I'd love for that to happen. To incorporate fashion and music together. I think it belongs together because a lot of bands you see them live and. They don't seem to care about what they look like. You don't even have to be looking at the stage. You can be turning around, talking to your friends, just listening to it. You know, we're trying to put on a show where people want to be looking at the stage and want to be. It just adds so much more to it. It does. It's a package. It's a package deal. I think some bands will get that. So, you know, get with it. Get with it. Get with them, motherfuckers. Sorry about you guys. Fluffy said so, bitch. What do you think about the originality and, uh, or lack thereof, happening in music right now? It's getting better. It's getting a lot better. I think about six or seven years ago, and there was, I don't want to name yeah. any specific bands or anything, but all that pop and a lot of cookie cutter kind of thing was going on, you know? And rock bands were kind of, it felt like we were all dead and we were kind of in the back, on the back burner, in the background type of thing. But I think it's coming forward, and there's a lot of different kinds of music, you know, like metric and the killers and a lot of things with keyboards and different kinds of ideas, imaging heat, but, you know, cell dweller, and there's a lot going on. How it's big, a good time right now. Is, how big is the internet a part of that uh, revival of like uh, I think bands? it's a big part of it. Why? Porno? You porno. 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 Get it, get it, see it here right now. Peep the right place. Oh, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> nah, you're not worth it. I think you're not worth 25 cents. <laughs> yeah, she's worth a million dollars. Oh, oh Fluffy slam. is worth a million dollars, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a big part of it, the internet, isn't it? Coming to feel for bands to use, you know, pretty much free. Like things like MySpace and stuff, you go out there and you network and you know, it's, it's great. Before there was no such thing and then you just had to like, I don't know what people did before, honestly. It's just so many, you know, we have so many young bands and we've been bands against the start, like, you know, and we can feed off poems or like the start for you. That was really good to us. Yeah. The editors and stuff that were really good to us and put us into a lot of like, really good campaigns, ad campaigns and stuff, and it really helped us. Mm -hmm. That was tremendous for us. She has a lot of attention on the street. We better wrap this up so she can uh, schmooze with all the fine people out here uh, and get ready for the show. So, yeah. thanks a lot for, uh, you know, coming on the show. Well, thanks for interviewing us. Thank you. Yeah. Want to take us home, Flippy? Take us home. Come on, motherfucker. Come on, motherfucker. Come on, motherfucker. Uh, Hi. Professor Best Testies. Hi. Stay up, love. And uh, you want to you say anything? Thank you. <laughs> Enjoy the show. We will. Here. It's going to be very exciting. Thanks a lot, man. Thanks. Cheers. All right. Uh, it's Foreskin Radio coming at you from Vancouver. www.foreskinradio.com, bitches. Oh! Keep it locked. Like a load. Ah! Keep it real. <laughs> <laughs>